Hey everybody, Scott Verboza for ESPNBoston.com High Schools along with Brendan Flaherty of the Beverly Panthers who just finished off an undefeated season and boy, you guys kind of sweated it out at the end there against yeah. the Natick Red Hawks. Uh, a similar situation for uh, somebody with the last name Flutie, but let's take us into the last play down there. You know, two seconds left, they're at the 46 yard line. You know, they're gonna huck it up there and, yeah. and you have the presence of mind to bat it down. Is that uh, just kind of a result of coaching? You know, yeah. we think about the Seattle Seahawks and the Green Bay Packers earlier this year. Uh, just talk about uh, what developed on yeah, that play. You know, a lot of people uh, in that situation would want to go up for the interception, but uh, we're coached very well and uh, just batting the ball down because we knew after that play the game was over and we could finish this job. You guys in very typical fashion as it's been here for a long time with Coach Bauer. 347 yards on the ground. You go 0 for 1 passing, so it all comes on the ground. You had that huge run. Uh, nearly to seal the game there down to the one yard line had a bunch of people on top of you just talk about those guys up front and what they've meant to you uh, throughout your career it means a lot uh, we're not the biggest line uh, but we stay low we do our they do our job they do their 111 so uh, got to credit the blocking uh, and just staying with their blocks the entire game we've talked all year about how you guys are just able to cycle through backs all the time and you all kind of have your strengths to complement each other you know what is it about this group that makes you guys so dynamic uh, just having those three, four backs that can all do the same thing. Uh, we're very unselfish. Uh, we don't care who gets the ball. A 60-yard touchdown uh, for me, uh, a 60-yard touchdown for them and the line and everyone else. So uh, it means a lot, definitely having a lot of threats. And obviously you guys won two out of the three uh, last Super Bowls here. Last time you guys come in, you're a 500 team. You build at the end, beat Somerset. This time, a little different. You guys roll through the CAL NEC. Uh, very little resistance there, and then you get caught in a dogfight here. How are these two, uh, you know, memories going to be kind of a, just a little bit different for yeah, you? Yeah, uh, kind of reverse roles uh, from 2010 uh, and here, uh, 2012. Uh, we were down at the half there, and, uh, you know, now here we are up at the half, at halftime. So uh, we knew what it felt like. We knew they were going to come out strong, so uh, we had to finish the job. And finally, this jersey right here is going to be hanging up at the uh, Patriots Hall of Fame for a year. Uh, what, what does that kind of uh, mean to you and, and knowing that that'll be uh, kind of up there on the wall and living on? Uh, it definitely means a lot. It means a lot for uh, our fans, uh, the community, our football team, our coaches, everybody that's been supporting us the entire way. So it, it represents them, and uh, I'm just glad we finished and uh, we can put it up there. There you have it, Brendan Flaherty, somebody you're going to look out for next week on the All-State team. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But until now, <laughs> until then, for Scott Barboza, for Brendan Flaherty, Stick it with ESPNBoston.com.